Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel guys as you know i started series construction steps of house step by step so in previous video in part first this is part second in part first i have already discussed uh, if you want to construct your house so what are the uh, process for uh, building construction step by step so uh, this series i will complete from start to e uh, from start to finish then you are able how to construct your house so this is also important for uh, civil engineering students if you are not civil engineering student or civil engineer so you also uh, should know about the construction uh, process step by step from start to finish so guys if you didn't watch my first video part first uh, the construct in the series of construction uh, steps of house okay so you click on the i button okay on this i button then you are able to watch part first video because part first is very important this is part second okay in part first i have already discussed so if you want to uh, construct your house so therefore uh, it's depend on your family members okay uh, after that you can decide how many fam um, family members are present in your house and then you will decide how many bedrooms are required for your family members then you will also see your budget okay because uh, if you don't know about your budget so you can face more problems during construction of house so therefore you should see your budget according to uh, drawing and also for uh, according to your requirements so after that you will decide uh, for uh, or you will find a good architecture so uh, he will uh, he will give you a good design uh, according to your requirements so you should discuss with him uh, in a small meeting uh, then you will get approval from the government departments uh, for starting building construction or house construction for uh, yourself or if you are living in a city so you need uh, approval okay so if you are living in a town so there you don't need uh, to get approval from the government side so therefore uh, after that uh, there are uh, more steps and i will discuss and part second so in part part first i have already discussed so let's start guys what is the uh, second step of uh, house construction okay so that is preparation of site when you get approval from the government department if you don't need get approval if you are living in a town so you can start the second step that is preparation of site preparation of site okay or a process for preparation of site where you want to construct your building so that is called site so how you can prepare a site guys for example this is your site okay so if there are old uh, construction so first of all you will demolish demolishing of old building okay so if there are uh, if there is old building okay so you will demolish it or if there isn't any old building so you will clean okay so the first step is cleaning of site okay so in cleaning of site there are uh, maybe there are trees or uh, other uh, materials present on this site so uh, you will clean all the site because it can make more problems during construction of house or during layout or during excavation so the first step is in preparation of site cleaning of site if there are old material or anything okay so if there are uh, old buildings so first of all you will demolish and you should remove or move old material okay so uh, cleaning of site and uh, the second uh, step is moving of materials if there are trees or anything on site so you will clean and third step is leveling leveling of site because maybe there are up and down so first of all uh, you will clean then moving of materials or demolishing uh, or demolishing of old building materials and the third is leveling of site when you level the site then you will uh, get dimensions number uh, four uh, take dimensions 
according to your drawing okay uh, if you got from the uh, approval from the government or from architecture designing okay you will take all the dimensions of your plot is it okay or not if there is uh, any problem so you should clear that uh, before starting excavation okay then you should do it and uh, also uh, taking dimension uh, the fifth point is here when you uh, when you uh, take your all area then uh, the fifth point is uh, testing of soil that's why because before starting a uh, building construction okay uh, you need uh, to prepare the site so uh, during preparation of site you should take uh, uh, or you should test uh, test the soil because uh, you should check the bearing capacity of soil as if the bearing capacity of soil is okay then you are able uh, to uh, to design any kind of foundation so therefore testing of soil is very important to check the bearing capacity of soil if you don't check the bearing capacity of soil so you are not able uh, which one uh, foundation is better for your house okay because uh, strength of the project or strength of the building is also depend on the bearing capacity of soil okay so you should check also the bearing capacity of soil when you check the bearing capacity of soil so after that you are able to know if the bearing capacity of soil is okay so you can decide anyone uh, okay so if the bearing capacity of soil is low uh, so uh, they, uh, there are different uh, foundation types of foundation then you can select the best one and you can start your construction so guys these are some important points uh, in preparation of site so when you check uh, testing of soil in the laboratory okay so you can't check uh, like that so you should uh, take a sample of uh, uh, your uh, soil uh, okay on which you want to construct your house so after that you can decide which one is best so guys uh, uh, these are steps cleaning of site moving of old materials or demolishing of old building then uh, moving of its material and also uh, take a dimension of your plot according to architecture design okay and also a testing of soil so when you test after it you can decide so these are preparation of site so guys in next part third i will discuss for foundation excavation and foundation so first of all which one foundation you can decide so in next video i will tell you uh, what is foundation how to design foundation and uh, how to select the best foundation for your house and also then we will start uh, excavation steps so this is the part second so wait for part three and next video i will upload part three okay so the first uh, part is very important to know because this is uh, the part first is very important because uh, you uh, you should know how to get start okay so see you in next video thanks for watching goodbye